Hi, and welcome back to Dubai Real Estate Philosophy. My name is Ahmed. In this video, we have a special Eid episode. First of all, I'd like to wish all my clients and the viewers of this video a very, very happy Eid. I hope you guys had an amazing time with your friends and family for those of you who celebrate Eid. But as you know, Dubai, the city never sleeps, never takes a rest. So we're just going to get back to business. We have many, many launches coming up in Q2 of 2024, and we're going to start off with MJL. So for those of you who haven't watched our Why You Shouldn't Buy Miras video, you should go check that out. We also did MJL video earlier, going over the project a bit you can go check out that video as well so now they have finally released the details of the project for mjl so one bed will be starting from around 2.35 million going all the way up to 12 million for your four beds and they have a 75 25 payment plan and the handover will be in august of 2027 so all the details you can you can see in the pictures talking a bit more about the project in depth this is basically a very very high-end project Miras, as you guys know if you watch that video it's a very boutique developer they have a very specific design ethos it's a very amazing community it's a very mature community as well there's a lot of people living this is going to be most likely the second last cluster because there are i believe three buildings left as you can see on the master plan now highlights of the community of course it is the most prime location you can be we're talking about um Sukim road this project will be on al wasal road and um Sukim road intersection of course we're right in front of the world famous burj al arab seven star hotel we have the madinat souk okay of course it's prime location you're in jumeirah it is one of the only freehold properties that is available in that area as well these are some of the things of course as i mentioned there's already a lot of launches that were happened there's people living there for example the Lumtar and stuff you get breathtaking views of Burj Al Arab you have the ocean right in front of you I mean it's only like five minutes walking distance to the beach so for those of you who want short-term rentals who want to let it out for tourists coming or long-term rentals it is an amazing community a lot of people might say it is overpriced can't really say it's overpriced again when you compare it to world standards Dubai is still very very undervalued if you go to similar kind of prime locations if you go to London or New York or the Paris these kind of places you're looking at almost eight to ten thousand dirhams per square foot over here we're still in the three 3,000 to 4,000 dirham price per square foot range. Now, is it going to increase all the way up to 10,000? Of course, it will take time, but you know, as we always keep saying, investors are always investing in the future. So I have no doubt in my mind, especially with the instability in the West side and Asia and all these things with inflation and all these political problems as well. Dubai, no doubt, is a safe haven for a lot of investors while helping a lot of people move out from the Western world and come and invest in the tax-free haven, which is Dubai. Very stable, no political problems at all. This was just a quick overview about the project. If you guys have any more questions, you can feel free to reach me on my whatsapp also we had an amazing quarter one we had a lot a lot of launches coming from mr quarter two is still going strong we have lo2 of course amazing project amazing success very very affordable that was one of the projects that did amazing lo2 is coming mjl is coming natura is coming the market is still going strong quarter two is coming we're going to smash this quarter as well and continue to a great ending till 2024 all right thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye for now and you can conveniently reach out to me directly on my whatsapp by scanning the QR code at the top right corner.